speak to everybody the same with the mic, I will be using the mic in a minute to record Joe's lines. But not oh the music, my god. Not the music. I need the microphone, okay? Uh-huh. When do you need it? I was working around when you were using it. Okay, well, I'm going to use it in like 10 minutes. And then I'm going to get an official statement. When are you using the mic? In like 10 minutes. Okay, how long will you be using it for? Like half an hour. Perfect. We just scheduled something. That was, wait. Yes! Hey, Jordan, do you need the mic? Not even a little bit. Look at how organized we all are. Mm. We are working around each other's schedules. I want to record music, but I haven't done enough school today. But I just want to record more music. I've been thinking about it since I woke up. But I guess I'll do school. I guess I should do school. My resolve is incredible. (laughs) So now Bob's kicking me out because, oh, big YouTube Bob boy, got to record audio, huh? Well, try and kick, kick me out again. You can go do your boring voiceover and you know what i'm hungry and i want guacamole so now we're gonna start making food welcome to my kitchen here we are look around are you ready to cook because good because so am i so let's get whoa you scared me all right here's my knife and here's my salt let's get to work uh you won't be sorry for joining so here, let's get to going. Boom, one egg. Doesn't even think about it. Try not to waste food when it's when you're doing it, but I... So let's get going, because here's Nathan's cooking with me. Oh my god, dude. All right, now, step number one. We're going to grab all of our stuff, and, and one way that you know that your stuff is good is if it's been kept in plastic baggies for long periods of time. That's that's how you know the flavor is good. Now, uh, let's look at what I'm doing right here. We're gonna we're gonna pause. Let's let's take a second. What do you what do you think I'm gonna gonna point out? Now, if you guessed um, good knife rules, then you're right because that's what we're gonna go over real quick. Now, many of you have probably heard or seen videos like like this. It's a nice forward rocking motion. Don't do this. Perch on your fingertips. Thumb tucks behind the rest of them. <laughs> Oh, honestly, you know, it's cute seeing someone try to be right when they're clearly so wrong. Um, So you guys better just be glad and feel lucky to have me. So uh, as you can see, I'm not scared of the knife. And I think that's that's the first step is really not being scared and showing that by putting your thumb as close to the blade as possible. So you can see in in my posture uh, when I'm when I'm cutting downward that thumb, you really want to get it right by the edge of the blade, really just barely missing your hand with every single stroke. Um, and if this isn't really doing it for you, one thing I like to do when, when cleaning off the blade, as you can as you can see, is rubbing it with my hand along the sharp edge of the blade. So this is a good way to also sharpen your your utensil um, as as well as keeping it keeping it interesting and safe. All right, now we're gonna get your grandma's favorite china. You're gonna put, get your onions all chopped and ready to go and your avocados with spices of your choice. Now we're going to take the avocados out of the bags. And then this this part, you're going to squeeze the avocados into the bowl and, and make sure you really get your fingers all all over the actual avocado. If you have guests, you really wanna get your smell and your your flavor into the into the dip. Now we're going to be mushing it, preferably with a fork. I think the sound it makes is pretty pleasing. If you use something like a spoon, it feels very brutish, you know? A fork is very elegant. It it slices and mashes at the same time. And I think this is a very uh, good way to have your guacamole just taste as if you have this, this elegance uh, about you. And I just, it's one of my, one of my favorite parts of this preparation process. Um, Petunia pig on a pig of porky peppers. And so after we finish this, we're going to be spicing, which is a word I created and is not already in existence. So we're going to be spicing it preferably with far too many onions. Um, 
this comes from my lack of of self-worth and i just like to cause myself as much pain by putting as many intense flavors into one one concoction now as you can see that was way too much but that's where it's perfect so we're gonna mix all these up and right about here Yep, as you can see, I forgot to put in tomatoes, and you can see the absolute hatred coursing through my veins. So now you're gonna go grab a tomato, start dicing that up, and don't forget about the technique we learned a minute ago. So as you can see, that thumb is about a fifth of a centimeter away from the blade, right where you want it. And no method's a good method, as you can see, just really f***ing up those tomatoes in any which way. And in fact, I even picked up the tomatoes with the sharp end of the blade facing towards my fingers. I mean, literally sliding a sharp blade into my fingers to lift the tomatoes. That's when you know you have succeeded at, na at cooking with me at Nathan's cooking with me's course. And after you get this mixed up, you are a graduate. Damn, that's pretty guacalicious. It's a party. It's a guac party in my tummy. Hey Jordan, yeah. could you come clean up my cooking mess? I don't want to. I made really good guac uh, and just enough for me so you wouldn't get any, but you could clean it up. Um, you think about it for two hours. Okay, well you know what, I'll, I'll just clean it up this time, you know? This time? Just this time. Okay, talk to you later.